everybody, welcome to Baseball Action, the regional championship game between the new Trier Trevians and the Loyola Ramblers. And the first pitcher ball. Been here, done this before. Big time rivalry. Had some classic games between these two of the regionals. Pitch a little bit outside, Henry Polinski letting it off for the Trevians. My goodness, have we got some classic games between these two of the regional. It's two in 2012-2013 were stellar ones as far as dramatics. Pitches high a ball, ball four. Lead off walk. Preston Anderson, the batter. Dot of first runner back. Second of that strike. And just a little outside of all. Preston Anderson, number two in the batting order from Trevian, stop half of the first inning. The Niles North Regional, Class 4A. Swinging a bit of strike, there goes the runner, and there a throw, and Polinski with the stolen base. Outside of all. Michael Ellingson. Oh, Pitching for the Ramblers. Got a new microphone. It's making a little noise for me here. And the ball gets away, and all the way over to third goes Polinski, who got out on a gift, so it, now he's gotten two gifts, and a stolen base and a gift, and he's at third. One out. As uh, Preston Anderson struck out. This is Alex Calarco. Little ground balls. Tough chance. Little infield single. Here's Jack Miller. Yeah, strike to Miller. Top out of the first inning, and the Trevians have a run here. talk about springtime and all the distractions. Loyola's got that today. This afternoon is graduation. So the seniors trying to stay focused this morning with all the talk of the graduation this afternoon. They've got 11 seniors on that team. Pitch high and outside. Oh no, fake the throw to first. Clarko wasn't going anywhere. A 
One out. One out. One run in. First inning. Aces wild. And a line shot to right. That's a base hit. Single for Miller. And two aboard. And Patrick Jolliman, the batter. Well, congratulations to Coach Napoleon on becoming the second winningest coach in Illinois history. Passing the legendary Jack Kaiser of Oak Park River Forest on the list. And if he stays with it, he'll become the winningest coach in Illinois history. Probably next year, or close to it next year, depending on obviously how well the team does. Pitch high of all. Two on. Ball ball back. Miles North, a uh, terrible place to shoot from. Terrible place to kind of watch a game because there really isn't any depth uh, between the home plate and the backstop. So you get the screen in the way. And as far as the camera work goes here, there's no side to side that really works. And it puts low and inside a ball. Back check on the count, I think. All the way, deuces. Time called by Jolliman. A typical spring day this year. Somewhat on a chilly side. Not terrible though. Strike three. That's two away and brings up Eddie Harvey. Swing it a bit, straight. That was really kid. Doing good, kid. Come on out. And a pitch high a ball. Trevian center fielder. Normally we cover 
a lot of Loyola games, but this year, because of the weather, we only got in three. And then all the rains came and goofed up our schedule. The wind blowing in today. Out of lock and load. Line shot down the line, that's a fair ball. That's gonna bring home another run for the Trevians. And over there at third goes Jack Miller. As Alex Calerco scores on the double by Eddie Harvey down the third base line. And Donald Strickland, the batter. Now batting for new chair, catcher number eight, Donald Strickland. Strickland, the catcher. Seventh man to bat here in the top half of the first inning, Trevian. And big low ball. High and outside, ball. The Donald Strickland. Ground ball. Third baseman has it. Long throw in time, and we're done with the top half of the first inning. But the Travens get on the board with the two spot. And if we have any to play, 2 nothing. New Trier leading Loyola as the Ramblers come to bat. Michael Bedberry leading it off. Andrew Cost on the mound. And a base hit. No. Wow, great play. I thought that got through. That's the problem with the angle we have here. And guys getting in the way. It was a great job by first baseman Preston Anderson. Knocking it down and sliding over for Pederick. Got there. Jack Moran, the batter. Now the pitch, yeah, high and tight. Ball up around the shoulders. And foul the way. The sectional is held in Loyola. This year, outside of all, up on the hill, winner of this game will face the winner of the main west 
Oak Park River Forest game. Well, they were able to get this field playable, but a lot of the fields in the north suburbs here are unplayable. Line shot foul outside of third. They've had to find other ways of doing it. A lot of them are going over to Triton. Triton College. As they've got a turf field. Round ball. Shortstop Mendez over to Anderson for the out. Two up, two down, and here's Jake Novak. And Novak, first pitch hitting. Back up the middle, a single to center. And Colin Summerhill, the batter. Number four batter in the Ramblers lineup. Catcher for Loyola. And strike on the outside corner. Outside the ball. Tough field conditions here. Yeah, I'm sure that outfield is pretty squishy. Daughter first. Runner back. Swing and a miss, strike. Both these teams have had trouble finding consistency over the course of the season. Here goes the runner, there goes the throw. On the money, they got it. And Novak caught stealing for the third out. He had the first inning. At the end of one, Dutrier leading Loyola 2 to nothing on the Metro Chicago Sports Never. Sport, a winning attitude. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. Dutrier leading this one. Cal Marin letting it off for the Trevians. Number eight in the batting order for the Treads. Takes a ball, ball one. Class 4A. School size-wise, if that doesn't really mean anything, as you still get the same number of players on the field, but... The uh, Dutrier, in reality, in student population without the Catholic League multiplier, private school multiplier, Dutrier is twice the size of Loyola. Straight. And then they add the multiplier for the private school. That's what puts... Loyola, so high ball four. Here's Alex Mendez. There's a bunt attempt, and it goes foul. Goes foul. Henry Polinski on deck. Number nine, the batting order for the Trevians.
Here's a strike. Well, New Trier is definitely going to keep their record alive. They have won at least one state trophy in a sport. Strike three. And Mendez out. Every single sports season, that fall, winter, spring, every single high school sports season but one since 1942. I forget where we're at now, 200, is that 226 sports seasons? They've already finished second in state in boys tennis. And have three, four, about four or five more chances. They also hold the record of most state trophies in a season. Total number of state trophies, both boys and girls, they have the most, in state championships. Henry Polinski. Last time Dutcher got a trophy in baseball was 2017, finished fourth. And last time they won state in baseball was 2009. Last year, Loyola, farthest Loyola has ever gone. They got to the late eight of baseball. Got the first runner back. And fall ball. One of the things about all the these playoff games, lots of times, it, and the further you go, the more likely you get it. it, is the team that wins is the team that gets over the Monarch Butterflies first. And strike three. So, Polenski is out on strikeouts, and here's Preston Anderson. So a leadoff walk to Cal Marin, and Trevians have had nothing to show for it here in a second. And a strike on the outside corner. Preston made that nice play on leadoff batter Mike Bednarik in the first. Diving and tagging the bag. Go to first runner back. Nice to know what the, what's happening, seeing through players and umpires. Ellingson delivers, pitches high a ball. The righty, the lurch, and ball off to the third base side. There's so little space between the playing field and the screen that the on-deck circle is by the dugout outside of the playing field. Foul ball. Yeah, as far as I know, it's the only one that I know of here on the North Shore. Of course, I haven't been to every single high school. Seemingly, I have, but I have not. Foul ball. This ball field shoehorned in here, back behind the football stadium. Out 
Another one fouled up. Yeah, the Chicago Transit Authority at one time was even talking and taking some of this, what little space they have here behind the high school and taking it for an extension of the yellow line. The old Skokie Swift. Check it, no, he did not swing. Yeah, that's going to be a problem all during the game with the wind blowing like it is. You can see we've had a small little gust, gust natos blowing that wind right into the face of the catcher. And ball four. Marion was off anyway. So two on, two out. And Alex Calarco, the batter. He singled and scored one of the two runs in the ball game. Drove home a run with that single. Second inning. Pitch is high and outside the ball. If you're watching the game on YouTube, please like us. Like the game. You can also subscribe to the network. Get all the games that we load. Get an opportunity to see some of the great games of the past and all that other stuff that we've got out there. Ball ball. This is game, varsity game for me, 167 since last August. Football, basketball, field hockey, ice hockey, and baseball. So Calarco continues to bat. Straight three. Caught him on the outside corner. Hammered up in the top half of the second inning. The Trevins continue to lead this one. Two to nothing. Trevians two runs on three hits. No errors. Loyola no runs, one hit. No errors. Loyola coming to bat here in the bottom of the second. Colin Summerhill leading it off. Gets new life. He was at bat when... Jake Novak got thrown out at second. He had a ball low. No, he did not go. And a line shot. That's a deep one out there in the gap. Dies in the high grass and out there at a double for Colin Summerhill. And Kyle Zupek, the courtesy runner. Ryan Nevins fouls one off. We got an upper deck here. They use the uh, top of the grandstand of the football stadium. High pop up and taken by Andrew Cuss. About halfway down the line. 
That was in fair territory that Cost made that catch. Here's Andrew Smart. And a strike. We're going to miss straight. And outside a ball. Bit of the breeze blowing in. Ball ball. I'm going to take home some of the infield, I guess. Of course, that could be the infield from Glenbrook South. <laughs> it's blowing that hard. Here's the pitch for Glenbrook North. Both of them are upwind. Maybe even Buffalo Grove. Oh, and outside. Ball. And do smart the batter. Roderick second, takes the lead. And Cost delivers, high pop-up foul, and that's gonna land in the upper deck. <laughs> it stands over to the football side. And a ground ball back up the middle, that's a base hit. And Zupek coming home. Throw it is over to first, and they've got Smart. He straight a little too far to, from first. Nice play by Strickland in reading that. So Smart's out. He got the single at the RBI, but he's out at second, or at first, rather. Patrick Neenan, the batter. It's a 2-1 ball game now. And a wide shot. That's going to be out of Gapper in right center. And into second. Goes Patrick Needham. And designated hitter Joe Burchard, the batter. And Burchard takes the strike. Loyola's the home team, they are the higher seed. They're coming in as the fourth seed in this sectional pot. Nutrier comes in as the fifth seed. And there have been some, as we said, some classic games decided in last at bats and everything else. Fouled up. <laughs> and yet another in. And 
Ohio ball tried to, Strickland tried to bring it down, but it didn't matter, we're still high. Set to the outside, cost delivers. Swing and a miss, strike three, and we are done with the second. It's 2-1, Nutrier leading Loyola in the regional championship game. Class 4A, we'll be back with more. Watch this game on demand on YouTube. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Teamwork and practice are the keys to success. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. 2-1 the score. New trick. Jack Miller letting it off. And he sends a blast. That's going to get past the left fielder. Who slips on that wet outfield out there. But it would have gotten by him anyway, I think. Double for Miller to lead off the inning. Here's Patrick Jottleman. These teams in some sense have a lot in common. In fact, this spring had a situation in the minor leagues, class triple A, before they brought Charlie Tilson up. And Charlie Tilson, new Trier uh, graduate. Sacrifice works, moving the runner over to the third. Eddie Harvey, the batter. Charlie Tilson was the leadoff man for the Charlotte Knights and the leadoff man for the Toledo Mudheads was Danny Woodward. And Danny was a center fielder with the Loyola Ramblers, and they're both from Wilmette. So they're starting the leadoff batters for both teams were Wilmette natives. One for Loyola and one for New Trier as alumni. And then Charlie has been brought up and now playing regularly with the White Sox. Or at this point he has been. For about a month. Ball four. Harvey draws a walk. And Donald Strickland the batter. And a pitch low ball. Goes to Bunt, fouls it off. So two on at the corners. And Strickland. Sends one down the line. Foul ball. Hey, now we got two. They lose that corner down there. Time called. Strickland steps out. Runner's got to go back. He actually is trying to steal the base. Eddie Harvey. He had to go back. One out, two aboard. Ellingson gets his sign and the long wait for the delivery and the high and outside the ball. Here we go. 
And a line shot. That's no center fielder. Get, makes a gallant uh, effort at a diving catch. Didn't get it. And that was Strickland with the double. And the courtesy runner at second. Avery Chatterton. And hit by the pitch is Cal Marin. And the Trevians have the bases loaded. We'll run it here, and it's 3 what? Got the run back they gave up in the bottom of the second. Here in the top of the third. Alex Mendez, the batter. Joe the bunt took a pitch low ball. So the bases are all loaded. And a high and tight a ball. No place to put them. Bases are loaded. They lock and load. Low ball. Mendez, one of the underclassmen brought up during the season. Strike. Avery Chatterton out there at second base as the courtesy runner for Donald Strickland. Another one. Trevians had injury problems during the season. And ball four, and that walks home a run. And the Trevians lead four to one. Pitcher on the mound. DJ Moran. He's just a sophomore. Moran. Foul ball. A lot of teams have brought up underclassmen this year. Low and outside. Ball. And drop their strike. No, he can't go anyway. So two down. And Preston Anderson, the batter. Facing Moran. Bubble back. I, I have that all the time. Now you, not, now you understand my sitting behind the Came back off the screen again. Strike on the outside corner at the knees. To Anderson. Yeah. 
And strike three, caught him on the outside corner. And we're done with the top half of the third inning. Trevian scored two more, lead it four to one. Uh, long way to go yet in the ball game. Two hits for those two runs. Couple of walks and a hit batter thrown in there. Andrew Cost. Pitching. And Finn McLaughlin, the batter. All up in time. I think. No, he did one on one. Yeah, one and two make that strike three. And one away, back to the top of the batting order. And Michael Bednarik struck out his last time up. Was out on a great play at first, first time up. Outside of all. Andrew Cost on the bound. In there for strike. Come all back to the screen. And strike three, he went fishing in the Skokie Lagoon, saw the first, they got him. Two way, and Jack Moran the batter. Foul ball back. Yeah, I'd, my mind is spinning on all the great rivalry games over the years between these two schools. That 2009 run for the New Trier Trevians on the state championship game. That game at Lumbrook South was a great one. An error. And that puts Moran aboard. And Jake Novak, the batter. That one was for a uh, I only had a very top-notch pitcher, but uh, the coach at the time had overused that pitcher, and he, his his arm wasn't what it used to be by the end of the season. But that game was famous for the Trevians thinking there was three outs when there were only two, and Loyola tried to score a run just so happened the catcher had held, held on to the ball. Something like that. He, he, he made the out, tagged the runner out at the plate to save the game. The third out uh, of, the, of that inning. Then there was the 2012 game up on the hill at Loyola. The pitcher went on to play baseball at Denison. Ground ball. Flip the second for the out. I'll get out into that. At the end of three, it's 4 1. New trail leading Loyola. And we'll be back. On the cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Cheer for your team, not against your opponent. Sport a winning attitude. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. And the Trevians leading 4-1 to one over the Loyola Ramblers. Alex Calarco letting it off. 
as I was mentioning. The 2012 game, the pitcher for Loyola had a two-hitter with the same guy who ended up playing college baseball. Himself uh, got two hits. He was like number six in the batting order. Trevians gave up a run to Loyola in the top of the first inning on a couple of errors. Went to the bottom of the sixth and a home run that to this day still is described as questionable, although I don't call it that way because the umpire was right there on the spot to call it. But the Loyola fans insist it was a foul ball. Two run homer and Nutri ended up winning the game two to one. Then the following year, Loyola turned it around and got the call their way. Strikeout. And that was Calerco out. Here's Jack Miller. He's two for two on the day, a single and a double, and scored a run. Scored the third run of the ball game. Also drove home a run, I believe. I forget, it's been too, <laughs> too far back now for me. Ball ball. Combination. Jack Miller. Combination of the bat and the arm. He's making his argument for it, but he's getting nowhere. Jack, it is what the umpire says it is. Umpires are like your mother. They're always right. And a fly ball. That's going to be a gapper out there in right center. And Miller on his way to second with his second double and third hit of the ball game. Here's Patrick Jobelman. Officially 0 for 1. Struck out in the first. And a sacrifice. Last inning. It's a low ball. And of course, there's kind of a dash, natural rivalry, seeing how Loyola is in the New Trier Township District where the campus is. They're quarter mile away from the freshman campus of New Trick. Fly ball caught. And tagging in over to third goes Miller. Out number two. And Eddie Harvey the batter. Football rivalry. Basketball had a big rivalry this year. Well, they only played once, and that was early in the season. Ice hockey is tremendous rivalry. Lacrosse, tremendous rivalry between these two schools. Runner at third, two out. And a fly ball. Think about the left fielder on the line shot out there. We go to the bottom half of the fourth. Halfway home with the ball game. 4 1 New Trier leading Loyola. Colin Summerhill letting it off. He doubled and scored the only run of the ball game for the Ramblers. 
Gets a shave and haircut. Ryan tight for the ball, ball one. And a strike on the inside corner. Swing and a miss, strike. One and two. On Summerhill. Outside of ball. And outside, and the count's gone full at three and two to Summerhill. And he gets hit by the pitch, but it wouldn't have mattered ball four anyway. But just the same, got hit by the pitch. And Zupek, Kyle Zupek, the courtesy runner. Courtesy runner. For the catcher, Summerhill. And here's Ryan Nevins, throw the first runner back. These teams played earlier in the year, regular season, very early in the regular season. And the sacrifice got to work, move the runner along. Light shot. That's a base hit. They'll hold the runner at third. Runners at the corners. New Trier was up two to nothing going into the seventh inning and blew the lead the first time they met. That was at uh, Duke Childs. First strike. Ended up losing five to three. Ground ball foul. Of course, as I always say, regular season games don't mean anything. They're only the quizzes. Kind of coaches check it out to see what you can do, what they tell you to do, and whether or not you can follow their instructions, that sort of thing. Everybody makes the playoffs anyway. There's a little tamper. They'll throw home and no on the fielder's choice and gets away and everybody moves up. So runners at the corner on the fielder's choice from Needham. And a run home. Joe Bertrand, the batter. Strike. It's 4 2 ball game. One out. And fall ball back. Scoop dead, line shot, base hit to left. And that's a 4-3 ball game. Runners at first and second. On the single by Bertrand. Now you spec expect uh, playoff games to be close, particularly when the two teams are so close in the seating. And strike on the inside corner. 
Shortstop has it over to first and tied. Runners advance on up. So two in scoring position, but two out. Back to the top of the batting order and Michael Ben Derrick. Cost looks back. Delivers. Swing it a bit. Strike. Bottom fell out of that one. Ben Derrick. Swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Time called a little discussion on the signals, I think. Pitch high a ball. What a what? Maybe tell him to lay off the low pitches. on the outside corner. One and two. And strike three. And we're down to four. Bud Layola nips at the heels. Trevians lead four to three at the end of four. On the cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Driving while using handheld cell phone is illegal in Illinois. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. L Ramblers have closed the gap a little bit on the new chair Trevians. 4-3 ball game as we go to the fifth inning. Donald Strickland leading it off. And pitch high a ball. Outside a ball. And a strike. Strike on the outside corner. And a ball. Scooped at him, fouled away. Strickland batting here in the fifth inning. He doubled back in the third. Driving on the run. And a high fly ball, shallow left. And shortstop will take it for the out. Here's Cal Marin. And he gets one to drop. Triangle shot. Single. Seventh hit of the ball game for the Trevians. Alex Mendez is a batter. Jordan the bunt throw to first. Runner back. Andrew Smart, first baseman, over there for the Ramblers. He's another one of the little baby brothers, the last of the families. I have a couple of those this year. 
Andrews got another year to go, but. Both teams have seen the older brothers come through. There's a butt attempt. Oh, no. Nice throw over to first. They got him. They got Mendez at first. Nice job by the sophomore, D.J. Moran. Dove to try and catch it. He did not and still threw it to first to get the man. Uh, ground ball, second base over to first, and Polinski's out and the top half of the fifth inning. No runs, a hit, and a man left. Go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. 4-3, New Trier leading Loyola. Jack Moran letting it up for the Ramblers here at the bottom of the fifth inning. Little ground ball, slow roller, nice pickup by Calarco charging in and throws him out. One up, one down. Jake Novak, the man. Andrew Kosk on the distance for the Trivians. And foul ball. Pitch outside for a ball to Novak. One out. Colin Summerhill on deck. Low and outside a ball. And there are 23 seniors playing in this game between the two schools. Swing and a miss. Strike three. There are 23 seniors on the rosters. Better way to put it. He pitch high a ball. So Novak out by the strikeout. And Colin Summerhill the batter. Here's the strike. As we said, a little bit of a distraction. The new Trier distraction was yesterday was there. Seniors last day on campus. Strike. And for Loyola, it's graduation tonight. High pop up. And take him for the out. Three up, three down. No runs, no hit, two errors, nobody to the left in the fifth. For the Ramblers. At the end of five, it's 4 3. New Trier leading Loyola. On the cable of the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Watch this game on demand on YouTube. Drive now. Text later. A message in the public address for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Move along to the top of the sixth inning in the Niles North Regional Championship game. Preston Anderson. Letting it off. Take the strike on the outside corner. And a ball low and outside. And a high pop-up down the line, foul, and caught. Nice catch by the third baseman. It's a strike as Alex Clarko bats. And a ball. Top of the sixth inning. You get to the playoff games. Ain't over till it's over. Single. 
nearly decapitated DJ Moran. Right back up the middle on the hard line drive. And a pinch runner. And Brett Johnson running over there. So we're going to be a strike. Here's Jack Miller. He's three for three on the day. Two doubles and a single. Trevians could sure use an insurance run right about now. And a high little bounder. Second baseman takes it, steps on the bag, throws the first double play, and we're done with the top of the sixth. No runs, a hit, but three up and three down. A race on the double play. Go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Ryan Nevins, the batter, first pitch hitting a high pop-up on the infield. And Preston Anderson calls everybody off and takes it for the out. One up, one down. Andrew Smart, the batter. And he falls one off for a strike, strike one. strike well with the drop in numbers in football they're going to go with districts this is the last year we'll have leagues he got hit by the pitch and a Andrew smart aboard so for football last year we'll have the district We'll have uh, leagues. Courtesy runner over at first in Jared Lombardi. Or pitch runner, Lombardi. That's a ball. Patrick Deenan, the batter. Runner on first, one out. Go to first, runner back. <laughs> yeah, be sure to join us here on the network. All during the summer, we got baseball action. Summer baseball got, got a lot of games scheduled over the summer. Now the pitch in there for a strike. They lock and load. And a foul ball. Off to the right. Got a bunch of the alumni have come out to watch this game today. And a fly ball, left fielder. Waits, takes it for the out. Two away. And Joe Bertrand, the batter. Avery Chatterton out there in left field now. Strike. Playing left field for the Trevians. Two out. Burchett the batter. He's struck out and singled in his two previous plate appearances. And a little outside of all. The cost has gone the distance here. A 
Loyola has used two. Strike three. And we are done with the sixth. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Off we go to the seventh inning. Trevian's leading by a run. Patrick Gentleman leading it off. DJ Moran has really done a great job coming on in relief of Ellingson. Ball ball. Strike. He's allowed three hits. In three innings so far. There's a strike. Patrick Gentleman. Seventh inning. And strike three. Caught him on the outside corner. Eddie Harvey, the banner. Strike. Eddie doubled back in the first inning. Walked and scored in the third. And flew out to center his last time up. And we do hope you enjoy our broadcast wherever you may be on our network line, our various cable affiliates, our internet affiliates. Winding down our high school season. And a high pop-up. First baseman. Gonna take it for the out. Two way. And that'll Strickland the batter. Donald had a double back in the third. RBI double at that. <laughs> and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Top of the seventh. And a pitch high ball. They lock the load yeah. and strike three. Caught him lucky. We go to the bottom of the seven. Trevian is up by a run. We'll be back. You're watching the Class 4A Regional Championship game on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Respect the sport and yourself. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Bottom of the seventh inning. Loyola Ramblers down by a run. And right off the bat, hit by a batter. Will my hit by a pitch. And the lead off batter aboard. Here's Michael Bednarik. Ball 
in the dirt. Runner over to second. Bednarik has a runner in scoring position representing the tying run. Pitches high a ball. Derek showing bunt, throw out the second. Runner back easily. Andrew Koss on the mound. championship winner plays on loser season's over and ball four so two on and nobody out and Jack Moran, the batter. Goes to butt, pops it in the air, and fall. Again, showing bent, again in the air. This time it's cost. Coming off the mound, takes it for the out, one away. Here's Jake Novak. Number three in the batting order for the Ramblers. And he's got a blast. Uh, right field. Fair ball. It's a single. And that'll score the run to tie the ball game up. Pete Burnside now on the mound for the Trevians. And we are all knotted up. Here's Colin Summerhill. There's a strike. So Pete Burnside on the bow for the Trevians in relief of Andrew Koss. Burnside's been out most of the year with injury. Nice to see him. He came back in the Mundelein game and pitched an inning in that game. And strike three. Big time strikeout. Runner at third. First and third. That. Runner on third represents the game-winning run. Here's Ryan Nevins. We're tied at four. And a strike. Fall ball back at us. I wouldn't necessarily call that a wake up call, but back towards the camera. Here goes the runner. They'll let him steal second on a post. So 
a two in scoring position, but it doesn't matter. The only one that matters really is that guy at third. And strike three, and Burnside strikes out the side, and we go to extra innings. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drinking on any school grounds is illegal under Illinois law. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Now, these two teams have done this before, go to extra innings in a playoff game. We're tied at four as we go to the eighth. Cal Marin leading off. 7 8 1 do up for the Trevian share in the extra frame, the first extra frame, perhaps. And the delivery in there for a strike. Strike two. Oh. Line shot right down the line. That's a fair ball. And Cal Marin rounds first on his way to second. And going to make it with a double. Lead off double to start the eighth inning. And Alex Mendez, the batter. Showing butt. Pulled it back, but not in time. Foul ball, and it dinged up Colin Summerhill. He's all right. But a stinger. And sacrifice going to work. Move the runner along. And on the play over the third goes Marin. Back to the top of the batting order, and Henry Polinski, the batter. And right back up the middle, a base hit single, and the Trevians have regained the lead having given up a 4-1 lead at one time. Here in the eighth, they've regained it now, 5-4. Here's President Anderson. Polinski on it first, swinging a bit strike. Yeah, and a strike. And yeah, one thing about this game, as compared to other games where the Trevians have given up their lead this year, it hasn't been a bunch of mistakes. New pitcher on the mound, Jake Novak, now pitching for the Loyola Ramblers, and a pitch outside of all. Which means they've got a new center fielder out there for the Ramblers. I don't know who it is, though. And a base hit past the third baseman to left. And two on. And one out. And Alex Clarko, the batter. Alex switches around and bats right-handed with the lefty Novak on the mound. And first pitch inning, and he's got a blast. That's going to go back to the fence. And that's going to score another run for the Trevians. And it's 6 4. And Jack Miller, the batter. It's a strike, strike one. And I am outside of all Foul the way, strike. And 
Ryan Fisher again to Skokie Lagoon. Strike three. Runners hold. Here's Gentleman. He fouls one off. Patrick Gentleman. Officially 0 for 3. He's been at the plate four times. He sacrificed back in the second. Strike. Trevians. Two in the first, two in the third, two here in the eighth. And there's a fly ball. That's going to be a gapper out there giving chase. Diving, no, not going to get it. Gentleman on his way to second with the double, and that will bring in two more runs for the Trevians on the double by Gentleman. And Eddie Harvey in the batter. And it's a four run inning here. the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. And a high ball. Getty doubled all the way back in the first inning. Drive home. All right. Inside the ball. Batting here in the eighth, he did walk in the third and score a run. Handball four, and he walks here in the eighth. Ninth man to bat in the inning, Donald Strickland, two out. Two on. Four runs in here in the top of the eighth. Donald Strickland, the batter. And six, seven, and eight. Do up for the Ramblers here in the bottom of the eighth. Pitch high a ball. Fouled away for the strike. The Trevian student contingent. And the alumni contingent, such as it is, is over on the first base side, over by the, oh, over by first base. They got a stand over there. There's no sand, uh, seating. Strike three, and Strickland is out. And we are done with the top of the eighth, but the Trevians do a lot of damage. They score four and lead it eight to four as we go to the bottom half of the frame. Trevians four runs on five hits. Go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. Loyola Ramblers down by four. Andrew Smart leads it off. And a pitch high a ball. Another one high and away a ball. Yeah. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. Pete Burnside on it, really. And swing and a miss. Strike. Swung at something over the hands. Yeah. 
Andrew's older brother Fred is one of the coaches with Loyola. Fred was a top-notch baseball player for the Ramblers. And strike three, caught him on the outside corner. One away, and Patrick Meenan with the batter. Burnside working fast, takes a pitch high, a ball. Neenan does. And a foul ball. Off to the right. I think that might have gone into the construction site on the football field. They're taking up the turf, gonna re-turf it. There's a strike. Patrick Needham, batting here. And strike three. Two up, two down, ball five strikeouts. Pete Burnside has struck out four in a row here. Joe Burchard, the batter. And he swings through it for a strike. Inside a ball. Time called. Fall ball back to the screen. Virtue steps out. Now they pitch, strike three, and the ball game over, and the New Trier Trevians are the regional champion with the victory. As usual, the New Trier players get in my face a little bit on their excitement. And then I'll go down and celebrate with the student contingent. And the regional trophy. And the team photo, and the Nutria Trevians win the regional. Final score, eight to four. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up. Watch this regional championship on demand on the Metro Chicago Sports Network from YouTube. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Final word on this ball game for the new Trier Trevians. Eight runs, 13 hits, one error. They were struck out 12 times. They were walked six. Nutria left 11 on base and one stolen base. That all the way back at the first inning. And Henry Polinski, the leadoff batter, doing it. Yeah, for the Loyola Ramblers, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They were struck out 11 times, walked once, and the Ramblers left seven on base. And one stolen base themselves, that in the seventh inning but it didn't uh, figure in the scoring. That'll do it for us for this game. Congratulations to the Trevians on winning the regional. And to the Loyola seniors, uh, thanks very much for everything, and um, good luck. Nutra will play on, play in the sectional at Loyola. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, Thanks for watching and so long, everybody.